Well, tonight, a Greater Boston starts with our youth. Hundreds of students were at the Dorchester Boys and Girls Club today where they learned about leadership, character, and what's possible in the future. And some of their teachers were mm. members of the U.S. Army, some cadets in town for a little game this weekend. <laughs> WBC's Paul Burton has the story. West Point made their presence known today in Boston through arts, leadership, and education. Welcome to Boys and Girls Clubs in Dorchester. More than 120 middle and high school students took part in a leadership, ethics, and diversity in STEM workshop hosted by West Point. Make sure you're standing next to your teammate with your iPad and your Sphero. Learning everything from robotics, coding, and engineering. So this is our um, projectile um, motion activities. Yeah, me and him are actually programming this robot, this robot together. Marlo Pass and Michael Jean-Pierre are loving the experience. I think this is an amazing opportunity for young uh, African-American children and children in general, like me and him. All the children all around us. It's an, emerging, it's an amazing learning activity, learning experience. It's absolutely critical we get them early. You know, not just for West Point, but for any elite school. 13-year-old Michelle Freeman is learning a lot about leadership. Yeah, it's cool to see that there's people who are here who sacrifice and are there for our country. And for them to put, put their lives to put their lives to risk for us is very great is very grateful and very amazing to be able to recognize and see those people. And to be able to host this for 120 days locally to get them to learn about STEM and also to meet the cadets from West Point, I think is really fascinating. Of course, all of this is part of the big buildup of the Army Navy game taking place at Gillette Stadium on Saturday. Saturday, West Point making their impact here in the Boston community, also recruiting some last minute fans before the big game. To solving equations, these young leaders say they're walking away with a better understanding of what they can achieve. The fact that we are here today learning about this at an early age is a better, gives us a better mindset for when we grow older. In Dorchester, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. They are so dedicated, those cadets, and I was just telling David, I have yep. to mention, I have a brother who attended West Point, mm -hmm. I think it was 1970 or 71. His plebe football coach was Bill Parcells. The captain of the basketball team was Coach K. Mike Krzyzewski. Wow. The basketball coach was Bobby Knight, and the tennis coach was Arthur Ashe. You gotta be kidding me. All in the same year together at West Point. Paul is like a walking Amazing. encyclopedia. But I mean, that is an incredible class. That is pretty great. Class. And good luck. That game is so glad the weather is so I great for them tomorrow. I am so excited for just watching it on yeah. TV even. Awesome.